by Madra Brown at the Digital Media Zone, where a group of young teenagers have developed an app to help young visually impaired children learn to read Braille. We've created a way to help blind children learn Braille using tablet-based software, so an iPad app, and a Braille, this Braille box here, which is the Braille simulator. So how is it going to work? So as you go through the app, your Braille will pop up on this uh, simulator, and as you go through a story, it will, the characters will introduce themselves as letters. Today they were demonstrating the concept at the DMZ, where they're getting help to make their entrepreneurship dreams come true. For us it's going to be a continuation and understanding her needs and being able to customize programs and support to help her accelerate her growth. Jenna is the co-founder of the program. The group is made up of 10 12 to 15 year olds from an Aurora school. They came up with the idea for the app when they learned that only 10 percent of those without sight under the age of 18 can read Braille. We were very shocked. That's like saying only one of us over a team of 10 knows how to read which is very shocking to everybody. Since creating this innovative idea, the team won $10,000 from the Global Innovation Award to develop their project, and they are being mentored by the CNIB and other organizations. Students from York University are helping to develop the Braille Box. One of the biggest traits for the DMZ right now is having a strong community of people who can support the entrepreneurs, and that includes mentors and advisors, that includes investors, customers, and of course it includes people within the university that can actually give the proper advice and feedback uh, to help them grow. And with all that help from the community, the group has learned one very important lesson. Anybody can do anything as long as they put their mind to it. Well, while there is still lots of work to do, the group hopes to have their app up and running by the middle of 2017. At the DMZ, Audra Brown, City News.